Hi all. Um, this is a help guide for ordering the next batch. If you're already a backer, you'll already have an account, so this shouldn't be an issue. Um, if you have any problems at all, get in touch with me, but it um, shouldn't be a problem. So this is really aimed at um, uh, new customers that were not backers um, and how to set up an account. Again, it's fairly, it's, it's fairly straightforward, but just to show you the process so you've got an idea. Um, this is not affecting backers. Backers are still going to get their cases early. There's about 80 orders left to go. They'll be finished in about three weeks, but the people ordering now um, are going to have to wait between three and six months to get their cases. And I know it sucks and I'm sorry about this, but basically it's going to be two, three weeks or as soon as 500 cases are pre-ordered, um, then everything's being shut down again. Um, and I'll manufacture those cases and all the spare parts that are being ordered, which is going to take three months to manufacture. Um, and then once they are, they'd all arrive and then we'll start building them again. And, and by experience it's taken, I, I, I'm, it's, it's two to three months to ship the, the, the next batch of orders. So if you're at the back of the queue, please bear with me. I know it's a bit of time and I know you're going to have to pay up front. I apologize for this, but it's the only way I can do this. If you're not happy with that. So let's cover this. Um, you are going to be paying up front. For your order, if you have, if you live somewhere like Australia or where and the, and the shipping's expensive, you can select collected, um, and then I'll chase you for either collecting it later or to pay for the shipping later on. That would save you the money. Um, but ultimately, you know, if, to get on this batch, you need to pre-order and pay. Um, so uh, this may be the last batch for a while. Um, maybe if things are sorted out, uh, then I may continue. But the reality is, it's probably not going to be another batch for a while after this batch. So, um, um, but it, so if you do go forward with this, I do appreciate it. Um, and basically, you're encouraging me to maybe someday turn it into a day job and do more of these. Hopefully, I get to the stage where it's you know you ring up, I say yeah, I've got one in stock. What do you want? And I ship next day. But that's not today, I'm afraid. Right, let's get on with this. So, you need to go to the website. Um, now, this is my uh, development site, so um, just understand it's slightly the address in the top is wrong. Don't type that address in. Okay, it's checkmate fifteen hundred plus dot com, um, and that's the address you need to go to. So, um, but this is usual. <laughs> you're seeing this in the order page, right? So, what you're going to be doing is this. Uh, I, I will put a skip message. To, to the actual meat, shall we say, of this. Um, right, so the, what you need to do is, you, if you haven't already created an account, and this is aimed at people who haven't, so if you have created an account, you just add a product and it will create a new order, okay? First thing we need to do is we need to create an account. So we're gonna go log in, okay? And now I'm gonna create an account and I'm going to make one, I know. Okay, so one login page, if you know you log in, log, put it here, if you're not doing that, we're doing create account. Down here, create account. Now, the video you're watching here now is going to be in here. This is a different one, but because I'm recording it. So scroll down and put in your name. Now, you don't need to put a title, but you need to put your full name. So um, I'm going to create, so I'm going to put in here Steve Jones and my email, my email address I've actually, for testing purposes, was. God, I've forgotten it already. Uh, Steve one. Yeah, that was it. Steve one. There you go. I mean, I kind of made this up. Right. So say you put your name and your email address. It's really important you put the correct email address in. This is not, this is not going to work. You're going to press save. Okay. You're going to press that button there. What will then happen? You go to your email. It, this email may have dropped into your junk folder. But you're going to end up with an email that looks like this. Okay, this email will have a link on it saying click to activate account. Right, so we're going to click that, and that's going to open up the website into this page, and it's going to show you details. Your login is now this, e this email address doesn't exist, so don't bother emailing it. Um, your login is 
your email is um, obviously if you could be clever and take the one out that is actually my work email address but um, and every time this happens it's randomized password okay so you are actually logged in now you're logged in but I would suggest you change your password now you have received an email with this login and password so you could leave it as this if you want to it's not a big deal um, but if you want to you can change the password go in here you're gonna have to put your login and password that I gave you in the email so I suggest you cut and paste from the email client and then put in a new work password you see there's you have to have eight characters one capital letter and a number I and then change password so that will then you'll you'll be in there but I, I'm already logged in so because I'm logged in I can go up to account my orders and you see I've already been playing you when you first do this you will not have anything in here okay there will be nothing in there but as soon as you go to products now it's very important you understand what you're ordering is a case or more than one case and a lot of extras but if I click on one let's go to the Amiga one let's click go to product details so what you can see now is um, your case which is that I've selected the 1200 case and if you scroll down what you end up with is it's telling you a little bit about the case these are all the parts you're actually gonna get all right these are the bits all right so people keep asking what do I get in the case it's there okay so uh, but also now you'll notice the price has gone up a little bit but we've also included these two parts which everyone's going to get which is the front port blank utility and a rear blank panel um, I was going to do the the extra panel the plastics at the front but I've decided not to do that um, because obviously I've increased the price because we've had to put it up because of certain things so you can scroll down it tells you these are the optional panels you can add and the pa the front panels etc 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 and then the risers if you want the risers right what i'm going to do now is right so what you need to do once you've decided that's the one you want you need to go back into into the main section again by clicking on the products and select add okay to any product you want to buy just press the add button okay that brings you to this page and again this video is this video you're watching so you're seeing here now I've already added one earlier so I'm just going to remove that item right so now what you can see is I've I've added my white case okay that's everything you need to build a 1200 into the case nothing there's no power adapters there's no keyboard it's, it's, that's just the case alone the power supply can't believe people still ask that there's no power supply so that's everything that you saw in that list and the picture and the bits you're going to get so that will build the 1200 in there comes with the cable for the power the power switch and it comes with the k the led cables according to that model right so if you want to order more bits we can go to add items which takes you back into the products page sorry this is being really slow but it's because i'm recording at the same time so I might want to have, for example, now these prices have all gone up. So these prices here are wrong. It's actually gone up. Not a lot, just a little bit. Um, so I want to add uh, a, a white keyboard. So I press add. Come back into here. Yours, it should run a lot far. Well, unless we're overloaded with users. But So you can see now that the, the order is, is increasing. Now what you probably will need is one of these power cable, power adapters. Which is quite important. Um, no, let's find it. Oh, I haven't added it on this one. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Okay. So um, the thing I'm talking about is let's just load up the live site and go to products. Right. This one here does all of them. Okay. This this product here that basically allows you to run the powers put an sfx power supply in it this is not an explanation this is just add them anyway let's go back to the actual order page right so i'm gonna i'm just for fun i'm gonna add some white risers and that, that'll do me all right so now what we've got is we've got here my order these are the bits that i want and i can i can increase or remove i can remove items etc so build that when you have once you're completely happy with it 
Now you'll notice I've got main order details ticked, main customer details ticked, delivery address ticked, terms and conditions ticked. Yours probably won't be. So you need to make sure they're all filled in. This is the bit where I say at the beginning, you only need to create the address, but in here you need to now fill in all your details, your address, and you have to put these in here, okay? And then save. Once you've done that, you need to do the delivery address, but to make life easy, if it's the same as your normal address, you just use customer details, okay? And that'll pop pre-populate all of that, and then save. Finally, once you're happy, you have to read the terms and conditions. You can click on there, just tick the box to say you've read them, and move on okay right once that's done you're ready to pay once you're happy with the thing you can click on view invoice this will show you what you're about to pay for how much it's going to cost etc etc okay let me close that as well now once you've ticked all these boxes at the top you this will open up so now you can click to pay this will say this is what you're going to be paying your order 3477 how much you're going to pay and you're going to click submit card for details okay that's the page then you're going to click i'm not going to run through this but you'll need to click on this you need to pay it and then eventually it'll take you back to the system it'll take you back to the system i'm going to say cancelled i'm just going to cancel that that'll bring you back to the system now if it doesn't show as marked paid okay so if we go let me go back into my orders if it's not showing paid with a tick there, all right, or a tick paid, yeah, if that's not a tick, contact us. It just means that there was a problem then when it came, when it returned and it didn't give us the authorization code and it failed, which doesn't mean it, the payments failed. It just means we haven't been notified for some error in the transmission. Contact me. If you, if you think you've paid it, contact me and I'll check. And if you have paid it, then I'll just manually mark it as mark it as paid, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much more to do uh, apart from obviously wait for delivery. Now, um, as I said, it's an absolute minimum of three months. You know, um, three months delivery. Um, but uh, depending on when you can hear little Alfie in the background reminding me. Um, so. Uh, once that's done it's probably it's going to be another two to three months to ship them all but if you write the front of the queue you'll probably get yours within three months and the people at the back of the queue it's going to take time to, to assemble them it takes i do i can do about 30 40 a week and you can work that out it takes quite a while to assemble these so um yeah that's it really uh but thanks thanks for ordering um and i'll get them to you as quick as i can i do appreciate it um and i'll speak to you soon thank you